to Mr. Hodges, but you were married to another guy at the time? Yes, Your Honor. I feel like he has been deceived. He had been cheating on him. He had caught her with another guy that she said was a friend, but yet he was hidden in her house when, he, when my son got there. You found him hiding in the house? Yes, Your Honor. Hiding in the house where? In her mother's bedroom. Back of truth. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Hodges, you and your mom opened your case today because you both say the defendant is a liar and a cheater. You don't believe you fathered her one-month-old daughter, Lillian Willard, and plan to prove that today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Willard, you too are here with your mother, and the two of you testify that you are 1,000% sure Mr. Hodges fathered your daughter. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Hodges, explain to me why you think Ms. Willard is a liar and a cheater. She, uh, cheated on me, and I caught her with multiple guys. She had one hidden in the room, and whenever we first got together, she said that she would never hurt me or cheat on me. She would be truthful, and yet she's lied to me left and right. Ms. Willard, you kept lying and you kept cheating? Um, no, I did not. I had a guy over at my house, yes. He was visiting because he was a childhood friend, and I didn't tell him because I knew he'd flip out because I know how he is. I want to understand the nature of this relationship. Where did you meet? I met him through a family member of his. She had one night stand with him, and I was there to comfort her, and we talked for a week or so, and... Oh, you met her after she had a one night stand with another guy, and then she cried on your shoulder. And then you and she got together. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Blevins. Yes, ma'am. I understand that you are the one who pushed your son to open this case. Yes, Your Honor. And why did you do that? Um, because I knew that she had been cheating on him. He had caught her with another guy that she said was a friend, but yet he was hidden in her house when, he, when my son got there. You found him hiding in the house? Yes, Your Honor. Hiding in the house where? In her mother's bedroom. But, but, but Your Honor, but Did Your Honor. you help hide the other guy in your bedroom when I Mr. Hodges came? They had broke up. So why you have to hide anybody? Because she right. didn't want him to know. She didn't want to hurt him. She didn't want to start no trouble because Hardy's got a temper. Well, we was engaged. It was my understanding they had broke up. So were you engaged or were you broken up? We was engaged. Yeah, we, we were engaged. Mm. So you were engaged, Miss Willard? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So now that makes more sense when your fiance came in the house then you hid this other guy in the... Because in... I didn't want a fight to start. And Your Honor, she was well, already married when they got engaged that my son didn't know about. So you were engaged to Mr. Hodges, but you were married to another guy at the time? Yes, Your Honor. I feel like he has been deceived and took advantage of. What was your first impression when you met Ms. Willard? What did you think? I thought she was sneaky. She always kept her phone on her. She um, never let him get a hold of it. And when she was on it and he would come around, she would hide it. I've had messages from a guy that she was seeing while she was seeing my son. How did you find him? It's the, the guy that was with her when Lillian was born at the hospital. Do you have those I, messages? Yes, ma'am. Let me have those. Jerome, can you please bring me those messages? Yeah. Thank you. Ms. Blevin says, I do understand my son was engaged to her and caught her cheating. The other man says, we got together on June 2nd of last year. Ms. Blevins, you say, let me check the dates. Give me a minute. Yes, ma'am. Ms. Blevins, you say together, August split up a few times in between and broke up for good October 6, 2017. The other man said, so she cheated on both of us. Mm. And you write back, looks that way. Yes, ma'am. So, Ms. Willard, were you dating this man and Mr. Hodges at the same time? No, Your Honor. Your Honor. So why is this man saying this? He's given all these specific details to Ms. Blevin. He was at the hospital when Lillian was born. Yes, I was with him at that time. Oh. In the case of Hodges versus Willard, when it comes to one-month-old Lillian Willard, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Hodges, 
you are the father. We have the answer, we need it. And it was actually the answer all of you wanted. You okay, honey? Yeah, I'm fine. I want to meet with you both in my chambers. Do you understand? Yes, yes Your Honor. Honor. Court is adjourned. <laughs> well, Mr. Hodges, Ms. Willard, I know that was an emotional hearing. After I reviewed your court papers earlier, I found out that both of you had dropped out of high school very early on. And neither one of you have your GED. We, here at Paternity Court, have paid for GED courses for both of you that we want you to take advantage of so that you can go on and go to college if you wish and pursue whatever it is you want. Because in this life, we know knowledge is power, right? And in order for you to be able to teach Lillian the things you need to teach her, you have to be willing to do the same. Is that something that you all will take advantage of? Yes. Good. I know it was a tough day on you, Miss Willard, but you were honest today. But going forward, I want you to understand how important the truth is, right? Okay. All right, I wish you the very best luck. Is there an honest person left in America? I'm Mark Wahlberg, and this is the moment of truth.